my little squirrels still skating these are the best mushrooms I have ever seen. Standing right in front of me, a vicious beast with drooling fangs, standing two foot tall. I can't take it! Oh, oh, what happened next? I turned to run, but there in front of me, a pair of boots, the gardener, but then, wow! The gardener almost had me. I ran from the greenhouse. The beast in hot pursuit. Buttercup's the gardener's old dog. He helped to save Moletown, didn't you, boy? Wait a minute, gardener. Did you bring this bone down here? What? No! I thought he was a mushroom. Uh, I see what you're up to. You wanted to apologise to your old pal and be friends again. Is that it? Oh, um, well, yes. Of course. I mean... Buttercup? No. The gardener's sorry, aren't you? Good boy. Sweet bundle of love. Well, looks like you two have some catching up to do. Molly, he can't stay down here. Dogs don't belong in Mole Town. No, oh, but look at them. I'm sure he'll be fine. Hey, boy! Help! Oh, oh, oh. Boy! Watch my house! Molly, he can't stay. Hey, you friendly furball! Give us our homeland! I told you we should have fixed it to the ground. Oh, yeah. Come on, you little flat Molly. Oh, okay. Miss Marsh, I have an idea. You head off and get your flying machine. We'll get Buttercup and meet you back here. I forgot how good you were at breaking things. <laughs> oh, sorry about this. It's new in town. <laughs> My beautiful new tables. That beast took my nachos and drooled all over my customers. Oh, don't worry, Signora Maria. We're on the case. Ooh, nacho. Mm. Ugh, crumpets and raspberries. We need to stop him. Oh, look up there. Looks like they're heading home. Molly, we need to stop this. He is destroying Moltown and the gardener isn't helping. Seems a shame to break them up. They're having so much fun together. <laughs> Gardener, we need to return Buttercup to his home. Oh, no! He's fine down here. Look at him. 
This is the happiest I've seen oh. him in years. <laughs> I didn't realise how much I missed this little flea fluff. I did, didn't I? Ha ha ha! down here. Plus, I think this little worm is kind of jealous. Is someone missing out? Go with that little puddle. I'm so sorry, my little squirmy. I didn't mean to ignore you. Please forgive me. Oh, pretty please. I will make you some of your favorite mud pie. Oh, gee. Someone else is jealous now. I'm sorry, Buttercup. But I guess they're right. You need to go back home. Stop that. Go. Just go. can lead him out the tunnel he came in. Mishmosh! Now in the wind! Now, Mishmosh! Let's do it! Come on, Fly Tron 2000, you can do it! Come on, Uncle Mishmosh, you can do it! Oh, Grubs, I don't think I can take the wind. Not to worry, it was due for an upgrade anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Buttercup. I'm gonna miss you, old pal. But you don't belong down here. Buttercup? Where are you? Din-din, Buttercup. 
Come. You know what? I think I'm gonna miss that little fuzzball. Me too. Not as much as the gardener, I think. was a pup and he thought the ancient urn was a toilet. Oh, we were barred from the temple for years after that. <laughs> Mystic, why do you keep all this old stuff? Old things are the most important thing of all, son. Yes, but so is making way for the new. Every item is a precious part of our past. That's why this temple is so important. But we are running out of room. <sighs> there. Now, if you'll excuse us, Mystic, Meshmash wants us to meet him. He says he's got something big to show us. <laughs> Another of his useless newfangled doodads, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> like you, my darling. Oh, typical parents. Thank you for all your help. But before you go, Manny, there's something I'd like you to see. <laughs> Got to attach the who's it to the what's it. Well, if I know my uncle, he'll pop up any second now. Whoa! No. What on earth is that? Mishmush. Quelle surprise. May I present my latest invention? The mechanical Digging tunnels 300% more efficient than mole power alone. So cool! But digging is what we moles do best. Don't worry, Mr. Moldy. My machine is merely a tool to help mole kind work faster as our civilization grows. Why is it you eggheads always think we need things done fast? <laughs> See new gadgets. Okay. Not to worry, just pull back on the throttle down. So many levers and buttons. Oh dear, the cockpit won't open when it's moving. Duffy, quick, press the off switch. Look for a lever or a button. Anything that's big and red. Get it now. I can't find it! Oh, props! I forgot to install an off switch, and I designed my machine to be unstoppable. Ah! And it's just raspberries. It's headed for the a bit of time. I know. Manny, could you magic up a freeze spell? That should work. <laughs> freeze spell? Oh, that never works. Uh, science versus magic. Round one. Mm. Oh, Jack, please. Ooh. 
My machine is protected by a magnetic field. It must have somehow deflected Manny's magic. Uh, really? I haven't noticed. Turning wheels. I have a plan! Ooh, this looks important. I wonder what that does. Bing bong. Congratulations. You are now the proud owner of a glistening, shining tunnel-making machine. You're probably wondering how to use it. But first, a short 20-minute introduction about me. Uh-oh. To truly tell my story, we must go back 200 years to my great 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 system. Hmm, I know what you're thinking. What exactly is fire? Oh, Allow me to explain nice. in this short documentary. <laughs> ah, hey, see? This is what happens when you make machines dig tunnels instead of moats. I suppose you're right, Mr. Moly. I never intended to undermine mole kind, and I'm sorry. And for the record, I could dig a tunnel three times as fast as that mechanical beast. <gasps> I'm Mr. Moly. You're a genius. Huh? He is. I am? That's it. We can save Mole Temple by digging a tunnel under it. That's how we save the Mole Temple. The old-fashioned way. Now, let's make like moles and dig. with adding a mechanical mold to our team? Well, I bet that was hard to say. Oh, we finished. And it looks like we were just in time, huh? Indeed. Wait. What? What happened? 
Sometimes the best way to stop an unstoppable force is to just let it run out of gas. Hmm. I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> Mummy, where have you been? You could have at least helped with the digging. Uh, Mystic, is the giant empty hole under the temple going to be a problem? Well, I may have some use for it. Welcome, everyone. And I have all of you to thank for creating a home for these precious artifacts. Now, if you'll join me in the temple... I never like that old thing anyway. Oh, how wonderful you've agreed to let a young mole shadow you today. Yes, I have to admit, it's quite nice to have someone to look up to me like this. Of all the moles in town, he wanted to write his school paper about me. Do you think this outfit is impressive enough? Not quite my colour, is it? Um, no. Manny, be serious. <laughs> Manny, I suppose my regular outfit will have to do. Change it back, please. <laughs> oh, you look as. Summer's ever. Oh, thanks, Mum. Hey, hi. We're in the same club. Are we? Sure are. Wanna see some magic I can do? Just like the keeper. Whoa, not cool. This is never gonna come out of my fur. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's him! The keeper! Calm yourself, she. No, I can't be calm! Hi! I'm he! Well, hello! You must be... You're my idol! Do you like my jacket? It's just like yours! Can you show me, Magnet? What's your favourite colour? That's mine too! <laughs> nice to meet you, Cheese. Oh, first things first. These are my friends, Dottie and Mishmosh. Hi! Aren't you just the cutest mini Molly? It's very nice to meet you, little sir. And this is... Manny! Hang on, hang on! Look at this! I have a Manny too! He's my mini Manny! How oh, flattered are we, Manny? And... We do magic! Ta-da! Remarkable! What an ingenious device! Did you make this? Yes, but you didn't see that! Because what my Manny and I were doing... What Manny? So what are we going to do today? Fly with Manny? Can we please fly with Manny? I haven't quite figured it out to fly on my mini Manny yet. Just you wait. Today, you'll get to do everything a keeper does. Yes. So, when did you say we get to fly? Did you see his little jacket and the book? He really wants to be just like me. One of my duties as keeper is greeting out-of-town guests and dignitaries. Cool. And you blow them away with an impressive introduction, right? Oh, well, what I do is... Ah, Morley. Our guest has arrived from over the seas. So pleased to have you here. Thank you. It's very nice to see you again, Keeper. And you. How was your journey? OK, Mimi Manny. It's time for a huge welcome. Welcome! <laughs> Oh, oh dear! Your hat! Quick, I've got it! <laughs> Just an old mole town tradition. We do it to all our guests. So sorry, I, uh, I didn't mean to. I would not trying to be like you. Well, you have to be more careful, okay? Take it from me, I've had a lot of inventions go tails up myself. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, it's okay, Cheese. You didn't even singe his fur. Let's move on to the day's next event, shall we? Oh, I can't wait. Uh-oh. Sign up here for the Keeper's Book signing. Everyone form an orderly line. Get in, tuck your elbow in. 
Put your feet together. Line up nice. Look nice for the keeper. Wow. Look at all these people here. Oh, maybe I can do magic for them too. There's plenty of books for everybody. Just calm down. Idea it all up. I know you're enjoying how much cheese looks up to you, but... Uh, but what? Don't you think his, um, so-called magic is getting a little out of hand? I mean, I appreciate the inventiveness, but it's a bit dangerous. No, he's harmless. He's just my number one fan, that's all. I don't know. Kinda almost destroyed a whole bookstore. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. I'll have a word with him. Cheese. Perhaps we go easy on the magic this time. OK, whatever you say. He said, go easy. OK, mini money. <laughs> Perfect. Congratulations. I wish you a successful and magical party. <laughs> Think you'd have better control over that book of yours. Yes, well, it wasn't. I'm sorry you got blamed for that keeper. Oh, it's all right. You know, geez, uh, there was quite a lot of cake uh, everywhere. I'm just trying to know what you would do. I don't get why it's not working. Because you're not the keeper. And if you keep this up, little sir, someone might get hurt. I know you want to be like me, cheese. But perhaps let's take a break from magic for a bit. Delicious! Hey, don't eat dirty floor cake. I know it's tasty, but everyone's walked all over that. Come on, Minnie Money. I can be like the keeper. Let's prove it. Wait until they see me die. Just like the keeper. You believe in me, right, Minnie Money? Good. Let's do it. the right thing, Molly. It's safer if he doesn't keep shooting off sparks and fireworks. Oh, I don't know. If he wants to be like the Keeper, I need to crush his dreams. A young mole should feel like he can do anything. Like the sky's the limit. Uh, yeah, I'd say his dreams have really taken flight. Is it a plane? Is it a bird? Is it Mini Molly? It's Mini Molly, guys. Can you see him? He's right there. Oh, no. He could fall. Benny! <laughs> I'm flying! Uh-oh! Wow! Quick, Cheese, give me a hand! Oh, 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 oh no! Cheese, no! Wow! You have to leave it. I can't. That'll mean I'm not like you. You shouldn't keep trying to be like me, Cheese. I have to. There's nothing special about me. 
nobody even notices me. I need my mini Maggie to make it seem like I'm doing magic, like you. But that's just it. You can do magic without a Manny because of your cleverness. It's your wits that make you special. Really? Me? Special? Yes, you don't need to be like me. You should be like you. In fact, maybe you can be like you right now and invent us a way out of here. Okay! Hold on! Here we go! Manny, there you are. I'd say we'd have used your help earlier, but we didn't need magic after all. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Thanks to Cheese. <laughs> Why don't you go talk to them? I think they'd like to meet the real Cheese. Do you really think so? Thank you, Keeper. Are you sad about losing your number one fan, Molly? No, this is much better. What? You went back for it? Oh, great. Now I've got to deal with two of you. Yeah.